Hello everyone. If you are watching this video, it means one thing. You are serious about becoming a data engineer and working in top MNC companies in 2026. Today I will give you a clear cut, no confusion roadmap, not a theory, not a hype, only what entry panels actually expect during the MNC companies interviews. So by the end of this video, you will know what skills you have to focus first to crack data engineer interview and what are the things you have to ignore and how interviews really happen in 2026 and how freshers and experienced candidates can crack data engineer roles in the upcoming years that means in 2026. So we will cover all these things in this video. So before discussing main topic, if you are visiting our YouTube channel first time, so please do subscribe and share to your friends as well and also like our videos if you really love our content. Now let me talk about why data engineer role is powerful in 2026 or upcoming years. Let me be very clear. You know very well artificial intelligence, machine learning, dashboards, business analytics, data analytics, all or everything depends on the data only. Without data engineers, nothing works nowadays. So in 2026 and beyond, data volume is increasing cloud cost is increasing and uh, at the same time you can expect some bad data that means wrong business decisions also will happen so companies don't want two learners they want problem solving data engineers that's why data engineer hiring is stable even when it market is slow down and what it companies expect in the reality so most people think that data engineer means Hadoop uh, around 15 to 20 tools and big theory. That is absolutely wrong guys. Entry panels mainly check, can you write to SQL confidently? Can you transform data using Python or PySpark? Can you design a data pipeline? Can you explain real time issues? If you crack these four things, you are almost selected okay now let us see what are the main skills you have to focus to crack data engineer interview the first and biggest priority is sql or sql let me say this clearly if your sql is weak no cloud no spark no certificate will save you friend then what level of sql is required to crack a data engineer job role you know you must be comfortable with joints concept inner left self joints and also group by and having class skills and windows functions such as raw number rank dense rank lead and lag and also cte data duplication time based data you have to uh, must be right sql queries based on so interviewers don't want syntax they want logic explanation you must remember this frame. and the next second biggest priority is python for data engineering you don't need a data science python you need a data engineering python so you have to focus on loops functions dictionaries and lists file handling concepts exception handling basic loops concepts data cleaning logic and the next skill is you have to prepare PySpark. this is the backbone for data engineer guys in the upcoming years and what interviewers expect in PySpark? you know data frame api spark sql joints and aggregations windows functions handling nulls partitioning broadcast join concept performance tuning basics in interview the, the entry panel can ask like uh, why spark instead of uh, sql or python so if you can answer this clearly you can stand out guys and next main skill is cloud you have to choose one and master it don't try to learn all clouds choose one either azure AWS or GCP. If you are choosing Azure, you have to learn Azure Data Factory, ADLS and Databricks. If you are choosing AWS, then you have to learn the services S3, Glue, EMR. If you are choosing GCP Cloud, then you have to learn the services BigQuery and Dataflow. So in India, MNC companies mostly they are choosing Azure is extremely strong to, uh, so you have to learn practically how data is ingested where it is stored how spark job runs how failures are handled 
and cost awareness so you have to focus more on these areas and the next skills are data modeling and etl thinking so interview panels also check your data modeling skills as well you must understand fact and dimension tables star versus snowflake schemas scd type 1 and type 2 incremental loads partition strategies this shows you are not just coding you think like a data engineer so after practicing all these things you have to be practice real-time project so without a real-time project explanation 90 percent of candidates will fail guys you must explain one real project like a source system data volumes transformation failures phase performance improvements business use case if you explain confidently experience level doesn't matter i will tell you the clear roadmap first month you have to practice advanced sql python data modeling and the next month you have to practice PySpark, Spark SQL and do on mini project. And next month you have to practice cloud pipeline, end to end project and you can attend the mock entries. So like this, if you prepare, you can easily crack the data engineer entry course. Hopefully this video really helpful. If you still have any doubts, please uh, comment in the comment section. So if you feel this information is really helpful for all data engineer professionals, Share this content or video to your dear friends or your social networking platform. Okay, so we'll come back with one more useful content video. Till then, thank you very much.